So I just did a Olaplex treatment. I did this one. It's like a bonder. I don't even know what that means. I've heard good things about it. I guess it's reparative. It says repairs and strengthens hair. Hopefully that works. <laughs> Side note, this tanning water for my face is really good. I mix it in with my moisturizer. And then make sure you wash your hands after or it will stain. Actually wanted to show you guys a bit of a thrift haul. I was on my reading week last week for Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, so we got a week off of school and I got some really good vintage thrifted things. One of them being this sweater. Your typical knit, it's really soft, but I love the sleeves. It's like Cosmo and Wanda sleeves. I think it's kind of cool. The second thing I got, which this was the real steal, I think. I got this sweater, this turtleneck knit and it was at one of those places that you go and drop off your stuff and they give you cash on the spot and then you can shop. I was going to check out for this top and this was sitting there unpriced yet that it's like they just got it in from someone and my mom was like, how much is that? Like, that's a beautiful sweater. And they were like talking to each other in different language, like trying to figure out what the brand was on this. And they couldn't find it because there's no tag on it. They ended up selling it to us for $25 because they didn't know otherwise. And neither did I. We didn't, we didn't know the brand. We just kind of loved how unique it was. And then we walked out of there and I was looking at it closely. And there's actually this little tiny button. And it's a Chanel. It's a Chanel sweater. And I got it for $25. But it's so sick. I love the pattern of this. I think it's so unique and it's such high quality. So that was a big win and something I wasn't expecting. And then something I was really, really surprised about. I don't know if you've seen the Tony Bianco, like a buttercream yellow Tony Bianco long boot that's going around everywhere. It seems like everyone has it. It's like a square toe. Well, they're beautiful. I found these, which are essentially the same thing. They're hush puppies. They're not as long. It's like a mid length boot but they're so beautiful and they're so comfortable and they have like a warm insulated lining inside they were my size and it was just all the stars aligned and i'm super happy i have these these are probably maybe my favorite this is the chanel between these two it's a toss-up last but not least i went to this thrift store where my boyfriend lives in aurelia and i found this really cool like knit old grandpa knit sweater, which I just think is perfect for fall. Look how sick that is. It's really high quality. The tag says it's pure wool and it's made in Ireland, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's my little mini haul. I definitely lucked out and I'm excited to wear everything. Starting with this bad boy today.
cleaning complete. I think I'm gonna get some work done. I got a few assignments due that I wanna to submit today. I'm pretty much done, I'm just kind of in the editing phase. Because I'm in my final year, I'm also looking for a job when I graduate. So casually doing that, editing my cover letter, my resume. Writing a cover letter has to be like top 10 worst things to do in the world. It's the worst task. <laughs> it's actually hell. So doing that, making sure it's a little personalized for each application. I'm kind of looking to get into the tech industries and something to do with sales, I think. So tech sales, I want to make that money. I'm also interested in project management. I'm kind of just open at this point. I'm getting a business degree. So anything that's kind of strategy focused, planning, sales, interaction with customers, I am interested in. Later on though, I'm getting dinner with some friends that I did my internship at Volvo with. So that'll be really nice to catch up with them. Yeah, that'll be fun. Until then, I'm doing some work, finishing my laundry. And um, yeah, that's that. I actually wanted to show you guys this. I think this thing is the coolest thing ever. I think it's genius. It's a posture trainer and it looks like this. And essentially there's an adhesive on the back and it links to your phone. Essentially you put it like between your shoulder blades like that and you press it on. And so you wear it and the adhesive actually stays on quite well and you get to like set your posture. So I'm going to set it now. So this is my posture and essentially it will vibrate and like buzz every time you're slouching. You just go about your day and this thing's on you and it has a training mode and a tracking mode and the training mode is the mode where it vibrates whenever you slouch so you are reminded to sit up straight. And then the tracking mode just tracks you regardless of your posture and you can actually look at your stats. Just, I do it for like maybe half an hour each day. When I use it every day for like, I wanna say like two weeks, when I'm not wearing it, I actually feel my posture is much better because I feel like I'm gonna get shocked. It doesn't hurt or anything, it's just like a buzz, but it's crazy how it, your body kind of remembers. But anyway, yeah, I try to do it for a little bit of time each day and I think it's made a difference for me. So, would recommend. I think this would be a really great gift idea for that person who's like impossible to buy stuff for. This is kind of something that I think everyone could work on their posture. Okay, my friends are coming to pick me up for the dinner we're going to tonight. And I'm gonna do my makeup really quick. How cute is this mug? My mom got me when I went to university. If you know this book, this childhood book, let me know because it's iconic. drugstore um, liquid eyeliner is so good from Physicians Formula. The pen on it is so thin. I'm not very good at winged eyeliner, but it makes me look like I'm better than I am. It's not hard to do the first one, it's matching them. That's the hard part. Okay. This is as good as it's gonna get. I just got back from studying at Synonym, walking along James Street. It's so beautiful out. It's 
end of October and it's 19 degrees out. It's crazy nice. I was bad and I bought two things because there's so many cool local shops along that strip. First thing I got was this nail polish. I usually always go for like a very natural pink nail polish and I want to be branch out. Not that this is a crazy color by any means. This nail polish um, from J. Hanna brand in the color Marzipan and it's just a really cool kind of pistachio green, I would say. I also got for my boyfriend because I know who's eyeing this last time we went in the store. How cute is this? It's a lemon candle and it even has a little sticker on it as if it's from the grocery store. But it's so cute. It's unscented so it's more of like a decor piece. You know, I could do more work right now but it's such a beautiful day out that I kind of want to walk to the pier and just sit by the water and read my book. I'll do my work later. Something I've noticed in myself more now as I get older that I'm grateful for than maybe when I was younger, is that I really value the connection with nature you have when you go on walks and I feel more connected to it now than I used to. Like it really is more peaceful for me and it's more therapeutic going on walks, taking that time to myself, especially if you go on a walk on your own. I feel like you've just taken the beauty of nature and what's around you. That being said, I'm gonna try to be present with myself and go read and maybe meditate and just take in nature and the beauty in this beautiful fall day. a good reminder to take yourself on dates and have a day to yourself and actually schedule it in because it boosts your mood so much it makes you so much happier and I'm actually reading about it in my book happiness advantage where they literally say your physical environment has pretty profound effects on how happy you are so something to brighten my mood a bit. I got my film back after I got this film camera in April and I just got it developed. I don't know why with film cameras it takes me forever to go through it. Maybe just because the camera is so big it's like bulky to take places maybe that's the issue but they turned out really good and I'm excited. Yeah really cool shots from my trip in August. Love it, they turned out so nicely. And I was not expecting it to turn out nicely because the film camera is really old. I'm happy with it. I'm going to get some work done. It's two o'clock, I've had such a late start. I woke up at like 10, which is not me. I just had lunch. Now I'm gonna really buckle down and do some project management. 